What is going on everybody? So recently the army has made several controversial decisions. So it kind of all started way back when, whenever they tried to implement stretch cards and they gave people at basic training patches and then everybody's like, oh my gosh, the army's getting soft. And then most recently you've had the army uh, basically remove the shark attack. So because of the situation going on, they've removed the shark attack. They're looking to make that permanent. And more recently they are removing the requirement to pass the PT test to graduate from basic training. And I'm seeing all over the place that, hey, the army's getting soft, I'm going to join the Marines. So in this video, I'm gonna actually talk about that and whether or not you should join the Marines. So that was kind of like a lot to cover in the first like little bit of my video. I usually do it in like three seconds or something. But before I actually really start on this video, obviously my shirt right here. This is the first video that I'm wearing it. And I'm just letting y'all know that we, as the time of recording this video, I'm very close to hitting 200,000 subscribers. I've got my 200,000 subscriber t-shirt here. I got a couple different font things and white t-shirt and stuff like that, variations. And this is going to go live Friday. This Friday is going to be the release of the $200,000, or not $200,000, 200,000 subscriber collection. This Friday, I'll let you guys know on Instagram, so make sure you follow me if you're not following me. And then also make sure that you use my code for 10% off, use code WARD10, and you will get 10% off. Do not forget to do that. That's for my subscribers. So in my recent video that I did talking about, I actually did a couple of videos, talking about how the Army has been removing the shark attack. They removed it from infantry basic training. They removed it temporarily at first because of the whole COVID situation. And then now some uh, Sergeant Major had a bright idea of actually removing it per permanently and replacing with the first 100 yards and then you guys may have been seeing on YouTube videos and stuff about the PT test not being a requirement now uh, this is another one of those things where it's like I'm a little bit worried because it's a temporary thing even though it's like a whole freaking year-long thing like it's not going to be a requirement to pass a PT test for any army initial entry so whether you're enlisted or whether you're officer until the fiscal year of 2022. So from right now we have a year, so fiscal year starts on October 1st. So until next October 1st, it's not going to be a requirement. Now this has led a lot of people that I've been reading in the comment section to say, man, like screw the army, I'm about to go and join the Marines. Because the Marine, as we all know, is the really hardcore branch, right? So if you wanna be super hua, you wanna be really hardcore, if you wanna uh, really, live out your fantasy of being like a soldier doing soldiery or marine type stuff then you know go join the marines and honestly some people may be watching this video if you are watching this video and you're like this is kind of stupid like of course you should just not change your mind based on this one or two things but honestly a lot of people do join the military or pick the specific branch whether it's marines or army over like the navy or the air force because the Marines and the Army do a lot more grunt style stuff. You have in your mind, the Marines and the Army kind of fill that role for you. And so right now, some of the, in my opinion, not the greatest decisions that the Army's been making, it's been essentially making the Army look soft in comparison to the Marines. So if your driving force of joining the military is wanting to join um, like the highest, most elite, essentially, branch of the military, then you're like, oh man, I've, I'm gonna go join the Marines right now. So if you are that person that feels that way, in my personal opinion, and this may surprise some of you out there, then you probably actually do want to join the Marines. If you want to join the branch that's, branch that's the most physically fit, if you want to join the branch that seems the most squared away, organized, uh, militarized in a sense you know a lot of people like uh, if you view the Marines on base pretty much they're always walking in formation they're always looking sharp a lot of times you see some army soldiers and they're just kind of lollygagging around and so the Marines obviously look more uh, professional essentially and just to be completely honest that's pretty much kind of how it is so if you're leaning that way and the army um, removing the shark attack the army um, you know temporarily you know banning the requirement of passing the PT test to graduate from base training then yeah go ahead join the Marines I'm not like trying to have any branch wars or anything like that that's just my personal opinion if that's kind of what you're going after then go ahead and do that if you're going after other career goals like more like career progression because it's just a fact 
if you join the Marines, it's gonna be a lot freaking harder for you to get promoted, like a lot freaking harder. There's gonna be less opportunities for you to advance your career in the Marines. And so you have to kind of weigh the factors of why you're joining one branch versus another branch. So that's just my personal opinion. The way that the Army is going right now annoys the mess out of me. I just wanna say that. And I've talked about that and I think that the civilian world is encroaching encroaching on the military in a sense. A lot of people think that the military should be like the civilian world, that they should treat people the exact same way. Yes, people have feelings, but at the same time, we are in the military. You are taking an oath to do all these certain things and you have to do what your superiors say. You have to be able to operate effectively in a high, high, high stress environment, aka the shark attack. You know, it's a super high stress environment. You know, drill sergeants are making everything super crazy, super hectic, and you have to be able to operate efficiently and effectively uh, in those situations because whenever you actually go down range and you're in a firefight or really just any situation, like if you're in a support role, supporting some combat roles, some combat uh, units, like that's still gonna be super high stress because if you don't do your job properly as a support MOS, then it could end up getting some of the combat MOS's soldiers killed. Just because you're not in a combat MOS doesn't mean that the things that you do, how you are proficient at your job, isn't going to be life or death. It may not be life or death for you, but it could be life or death for somebody else out there. If you are in military intelligence, if you are in signal, there's a lot of things where if you screw up, then it could be life or death for the people that are actually down range. Training soldiers to operate effectively under super high stress environments is what we should be doing. Don't know why that the army did that whole thing. Uh, the PT test, I kind of understand it. Hopefully it's not a permanent thing like they did with the whole shark attack removal. First it was temporary and it was only going to be until all this stuff was with the pandemic was over and then now they're trying to make it permanent. Well with this PT testing, like I kind of understand it because the reason that they're doing it is one of the reasons that I've said that the ACFT probably wasn't the route that they should have gone. And I've talked about that in my video. I may talk about some other things in the video coming up, but because the ACFT is so complicated and you need so much equipment, and for some of the events in the ACFT, you kind of need to go to the gym. And the past year, uh, pretty much since March for a lot of people, uh, I've been lucky enough to where I can go to a gym sometimes, and, but it was four months essentially since I didn't get to go to the gym, if that makes sense. I kind of said that weird, but it was a four month gap. I didn't get to go to the gym. There's some people in the US that still can't go to the gym, that maybe can't afford to go to the store and get workout equipment if there's actually any available. So the reason that they kind of temporarily banned this or uh, removed this requirement is just because the ACFT PT test kind of requires you to actually go to a gym and work out with heavy weight, you know, for the deadlifts and things like that. So if you don't have that available to you, then if they test you on this, you can't really prepare for it. So they're kind of just temporarily doing this again. Hopefully they don't freaking make this a permanent ban because that would just be stupid. You know, the army always talks about the standard and meeting the standard and they preach that and they preach that and preach that and they, they hit it into your head all the time, bang it in your head all the time, freaking the standard. You gotta hit the standard, exceed the standard. And then the army comes along and they're like, eh, we're gonna lower the standard. And you're like, what the heck? So that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed a little bit of my expounding, expanding on some of my thoughts and opinions on the whole ACFT matter and all that stuff since I've made a dedicated video on it. Uh, don't forget about the t-shirt drop this Friday. Haven't picked the time yet. Hit the like button if you haven't already, as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell button. That would just be freaking awesome. I hope you guys have an amazing freaking day. I'll see y'all later. Drop.